YouTube. So sorry I didn't use my new intro in my last few videos, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remember to do that. But anyway, today's video is going to be the Lego Creator Set Toy and Grocery Shop review. Now, since it's a creator, it's a three in one set, so it also makes these things. But I only built the first one, so my review is just gonna be on the first one because I like the first one the best. So th I'm just gonna give you a quick glance of what the other ones look like. But yeah, so it comes with this like really cool scooter thing, which that I like, and it's ages eight through twelve. But it really means ages eight and up because you can be you, any any per people of any age can play with Legos, and it comes with four hundred and sixty six pieces. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the box so I can show you what it looks like. So, yep, this is this took me like two hours to make. Um, I'm not the fastest Lego builder because I try to do it thoroughly, but yeah. This is what it came with. So these are the minifigures. We have this, like, this lady's, like, the owner of the shop. And then we have a little kid who's, like, really excited to go to the toy store. So this might be your son. I don't know. It could just be a little kid. It's really whoever you want it to be. So this is the little scooter thing. It's not even with the wheels, but they, they couldn't figure out a way to do it. But, yeah. So it's pretty cool. So what's actually cool about this one is you can have it like this. Or you can actually fold it in, in, and it makes sense either way because if with folded in, you can make it like all one building. We have a gumball machine here that's pretty cool, but yeah, you can make it all one building like like it is now. Here we have a fruit stand, lamp post like that. So it can either it could be two stories, or you could just like if you wanted to put. I would re if you're doing a city and you're gonna put this in your city, I would recommend doing this because it takes up more space and I know how a lot of people can need that in their city but yeah so it also looks like that so I'm gonna do most of my review with it like this just so it's open for the camera and put it but okay so like I said before there's a really cool gumball machine I really like that feature and then we have a toy train here in the window sorry it's kind of dark but this was the best location I could review in and in here we just have some stairs and then there's a door up there but of course when you fold it it's a little different and here we have like these fence things to walk across and these things you can like actually put like this and you may be like well that doesn't make any sense it's just dividing those two but if you close it up then you see it's actually like block making it a balcony so that you won't fall off but that's pretty cool so we can just go ahead turn this back focus camera come on I hate this camera Okay, back in business. So, this is the second floor of the toy store. We have, like, a lamp here. And, like, the toy train down there. And let me let me go over here so I can show you what's in it. So, like, this is it from the inside. They don't close it up so you have room to play with it. And then there's a do that same door. Here we have, like, a mini. See that? See him? He's, like, a little robot guy. And then the toy train right there. We fold this back out. So, so yeah, there's a door here, a big window here, and two small windows and a big window here, and then there's that door. And here we have like a toy car that's being advertised. Doesn't really the Lego didn't do a really good job of it. But here we have the Lego news. So yeah. So now we're moving on to the grocery store. Because like I said before, it could be a toy and grocery store combined. But so yeah, we just have these kind of windows at the top, the small ones a flower patch and then like the little awning thing and then another Lego newspaper and like I mentioned before the fruit stand and here we have a lamp post and you can see it's like on top of the treasure map piece that you get in some sets I don't really know why they put that there but I'm not gonna complain it's a cool set so I'm gonna turn it around see on the inside we have like mu there's it's kinda hard to see but you have Lego money there, and then there's a cash register, and then there's some bottles of, like, stuff right there, but basically that lady can stand behind there, and then here, like this, I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but it's it's still kind of cool anyways, but yeah, here, oh yeah, and this, um, there's, there's, like, mail there, and then a really cool bed, when I was billing it, I thought it was an outdoor bed, because it's, like, out, it's like, because I hadn't put the walls on yet, but yeah, she can just lay like that. 
And then we can turn this around. But that's the final thing. I mean, well, she just fell out of the bed. I'm not going to try to keep her in it. But yeah, this is a really cool set. I got it for Christmas. Let me see if I can put this guy on the scooter here. There we go. Hey, Willie, wear your helmet. You're going to you're going to hit your head and die. But yeah, guys, that is the toy and grocery shop. Why won't this camera focus? Yeah, the toy and grocery shop set. It's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.